guys, what is up? Welcome to another episode of Maximilian Must Know. Got an interesting one for you today. A few weeks back, we took a look on Sand Safari at the house of Tiziana Terenzi. Uh, so Tiziana Terenzi. Uh, I was quite impressed. Um, and because they sent me a full bottle of Lily Purr, I said I would review this one as well. And so we're going to do that today. If you would like the backstory on this house, please check out the video that I did on the house. Short of it though, is that this is an Italian house that goes back generations and they are obsessed with making the best products with the best materials. Within Fragcom, I'd say this house isn't that well known. There are a few colleagues of mine I know who do enjoy this fragrance. And this is a scent that I would say is probably at least in the fragrance community online is their most esteemed it was a 2013 release the perfumer on this one was Paolo Terenzi Paolo Terenzi um, you could purchase it at Barney's or Oswald in New York City or Lucky Scent online it comes in one size uh, 100 ml for $145 now the inspiration behind this fragrance actually came from a trip to Nepal and really this scent is supposed to represent an amalgamation of temples and in particular this golden temple which in every corner uh, there are brasiers burning incense and this is supposed to represent the mystical fire of the soul and a profound understanding as you wear it it's supposed to gradually reveal itself to you through a journey on the skin notes on this one are roman wormwood lemon oman frankincense star anise galbanum sri lankan cinnamon carnation thyme cyclamen sichuan pepper lebanon cedar white White musk, cashmere wood, patchouli, benzoin, tonka bean, amber, birch, and blonde tobacco. Now, as far as your presentation goes, the box almost has like a sort of a rubberish feel to it. It's very nice. It has the, uh, the uh, house name on the front with the crest, extract de parfum, natural spray. Um, on the back, you have a, a Da Vinci quote. It opens up as such. You have a travel cap in there, and the fragrance sits really nicely in the box, uh, fairly secure as well. So uh, really, really nice box. Uh, reminds me a little bit like an Amouage box or a, um, actually not Amouage, more sort of like um, a Zerzhov box. The bottle, I really like it. Um, I don't love the shape because it kind of sits weird on the shelf with, with other fragrances, but it's gold, it's sort of the same quality gold that the Millicent Imperial um, Creed bottle has. Um, you've got the name on a, like a, an attached uh, fabric strip that uh, sticks out. You have a sticker on the bottom, a um, plastic cap, and a really nice atomizer. So, um, I, I, you know, is, is it a blow away presentation? No, it's a very good presentation though. And certainly for $145, they did, a, they did a really good job with the presentation. So my first experience with this scent was at Oswald and I liked it a lot. It reminded me of something that I couldn't put my finger on. And so I really didn't want to buy it without figuring that out. And when I got the bottle from the company, it still took me a little, a little bit of time because I couldn't find this connection anywhere online. But sure enough, this reminds me a lot of a fragrance called Potion uh, by the designer D Squared. But there are differences, uh, quite a few. So let's break this one down. First off, let me start by saying this is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. If you're a fan of sort of cinnamon incense scents or oriental woody scents, I think you're gonna like this one. I get some lemon at the top with a nice dose of cinnamon and incense and galbanum. And right there from the top, but not like in this overwhelming or overpowering manner, um, incense fragrances can, can very easily become just too stifling and, and, and too dark. And so that's why I think the lemon here really helps to, to, to freshen this one up. So you've got this lemon, based sweet resinous accord at the top that is accentuated very well with cinnamon and, and star anise. Now as it begins to settle on the skin, for me at least, this one becomes very, um, in, a, in a nice way, but strangely herbal. Um, I pick up galbanum and I pick up some thyme and spicy pepper. Um, so this one became more spiced as time went on. Again though, that incense it makes sense that that's sort of based on the temple incense because the incense here is really the foundation of the fragrance that holds everything together. In the final stage, this becomes a really nice woody fragrance. The incense starts to lose its hold a little bit. Um, I get the woods and the tonka is full out here. I think the tonka is actually there 
um, for, for the duration of the scent and that helps to give the incense some levity as well. So this one really does take you through, through a few different phases. Uh, all are distinct, but you get the quality in each phase and it sort of brings out helps to bring out the, the different notes um performance on this one this is extra uh is, is really good it, it's not super beastly projection um which i don't know if you really want with an incense scent so that's that's a good thing but i mean this lasted on me the multiple times i wore it about 10 hours um and, and i got good projection and sillage every time um i would certainly call this a unisex scent men might lean a little bit more or might feel a little bit more comfortable wearing this just because I think the incense is treated with some notes typically associated with masculine scents like tobacco and birch and star anise. Um, this is a scent that will work for you in the uh, fall, the spring, the winter. Um, I'd say it's probably a little bit too, too much for the summer. Um, I think this is a really nice night out or date night scent. Uh, probably a little too too special to be honest with you guys for just casual occasions so if you can't get this or are looking for alternative then yes I would say potion by D squared the main difference between this and potion and D squared um, by D squared for me is that this one I've tried the EDT and the EDP of potion I own the EDT um, but this is, it's just the notes are better in this one. This one lasts longer and it's better blended. But if you can't afford this, um, I think Potion is like a 40 or $50 fragrance online. So Potion would be a good alternative to this. Spice Bomb by Victor and Wolf. Also, they don't smell like, trust me, it doesn't smell like this one, but it does have that same sort of vibe uh, as this one, um, as does London Man by Burberry, Jaipur by Boucheron, all sort of, uh, speak to this sort of fragrance. Um, but what I want to be very clear in saying is that the only one of those that I felt feel smell, so sm smell similar at all, excuse me, is Potion. Um, if someone were trying to talk you into purchasing this scent, I think they would tell you that it's a great scent, it's a good price, it's a quality house. This is a house that I've gone through quite, quite extensively at this point and I'm very impressed. Um, it's got a unique presentation and it's very well blended. Now on the flip side, if someone's trying to get you to pass on this one, I think they would tell you, well, you can get Potion and Potion is cheaper. Um, everyone might not love this fragrance and it could be hard to find for some people. I love this. Uh, I would have purchased this eventually without a doubt, without a doubt. This this was easy to score for me. This was a clear seven and a half out of 10, a uh, half point off because it doesn't perform like an absolute killer, one off because it smells very similar to a scent that came before it, and one off because they're just in my opinion some better oriental scents out there that doesn't change the fact that this is an excellent fragrance um, from a house that you need to take a look at so any questions please feel free to reach out to me i want to thank uh tiana Terenzi again for showing me a lot of love i really appreciate it um and um we'll hopefully look at some more fragrances from them in the future guys uh i'll be back next week with more videos you guys know what it is my name is maximilian and i must know i'm gonna link to the yeah, website in the not, think the throw yeah. home or forgot time passed we back in philly now she up in my spa telling me the things i'm telling of is making a high started building with her constantly round the clock now she in my world